Rachel. Yeah. Uh, can you come over here for a second, please? All right. What does he need now? What? I think we're out of toilet paper. Uh oh. This is a scenario you may be encountering lately because, quite frankly, toilet paper is really hard to come by these days because people are hoarding it. But my wife Rachel and I have been reducing our toilet paper consumption considerably in the last five years because we have a bidet toilet seat. This one is made by Toto. Most of the innovation in electronic toilet seats has come from Japan, specifically the Toto company in the last 20 years. These used to be very expensive, over $1,000 on average. But now prices have come down to about $400 per unit by companies such as Toto and also Brondell and others. Today, I'm going to show you how to install one of these toilet seats in one of my spare bathrooms. So without further ado, let's go over there and see what's involved. Okay, we're in our guest bathroom, which has a toilet that doesn't currently have a bidet toilet seat on it. So we've gone ahead and bought a bidet toilet seat from our local plum and supply store. Now, just make sure when you buy one of these toilet seats, whether it's on the internet or locally, that they're an authorized distributor of the product that you're buying in the event that you need to get it serviced in the future. The only tools that you're going to need are a flat blade screwdriver, a regular adjustable wrench, and that's it. The only part that you're going to need to be able to install, aside from the seat itself, is this water splitter, which you're going to just simply bolt on. So I've gotten down on the floor. You're going to be on the floor quite a bit when you're installing one of these. You're going to be on your knees, lying down. It's going to, it's going to be sweaty. It's going to be uncomfortable for a little bit. But So try to make yourself as comfortable as possible. I've got myself a nice set of uh, my seat covering for my office chair that's padded so that it doesn't hurt my knees. Now, you're going to want to have a GFIC electrical outlet uh, next to the toilet because this does require electricity. Now, if you don't currently have an electrical outlet immediately next to the toilet, use an outdoor rated heavy duty lawn extension cord, which you can run the cord to an outlet to in your bathroom temporarily until you can eventually get either an electrician to put in that outlet for you or for you to do it yourself. The next thing that we're going to do is remove the toilet seat. Now, your, most toilet seats have these tabs, which you're gonna to need to pop open, as you see as I've done that already. And you've got two bolts here. Underneath these two bolts are nuts. So you're gonna use the screwdriver to remove or loosen the, the bolts. And the nuts you're gonna remove with your wrench pliers here. So you might wanna have somebody help you because someone's gonna to need to hold it underneath to provide tension, and the other person is going to have to use the screwdriver. That's why I have my wife Rachel here to help me. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the screwdriver on top of the bolt. My hand is here providing tension. These are actually hand um, holdable bolts, uh, hand tension bolts. They're made out of plastic. They're not very strong for this particular type of toilet seat. Some older model toilet seats, if it's a particularly old toilet, they might be a little rusty. They might be you know, have stuff on it from, from minerals, from water, depending on how hard your water is, you might need to give it a little bit more tension to remove it, all right? So you need to be a little patient with this process. But these are extremely easy to remove. Um, I'm just using my hands to, actually from the bottom, I can just pull it right off the bottom, you can see the nut come up in a second, removing it, they're particularly long bolts, because they're designed to be inserted into these toilet fixtures. I'm just moving it with my hands, and it's moving around, and it's loosening, so I'm going to any second after you go. You got your bolt. Now you're going to pull the screw off. You can push it through with your hands. It's pretty long. And that's all you got. These are going to be removed right now. So I'm going to do one more of these. And then we're going to lift the toilet seat off of the toilet. Okay, we've removed the bolts from the toilet seat, and now we're going to remove the toilet seat. 
Just be sure to keep that toilet seat in storage in the event you need to have your new bidet seat serviced. Okay. So now we're going to install this splitter piece, right? So what's going to happen here is this is going to be attached to that and that's where the, the seat gets its water from, right? From this splitter, right? But the first thing that we're gonna have to do is to cut off the water. Because what's gonna happen is when we remove that thing underneath here that you see over here, there's gonna be a little bit of water that's gonna come out. So we've got a towel here to catch the water that may be left in the toilet, okay? Now this is, again, you can just use your hands. You really don't need to use a wrench. We have the wrench there just in case. All right, so we're now gonna remove this with my hands. Really easy, not difficult. We've got a little bit of water that's gonna come out of this, not a lot. As we see, that's it, that's all the water that there is. All right, so we're just gonna shake it out onto the towel here. Now, we've got the splitter. The splitter attaches to this piece here. With my hands. You really just use need to use hand tension. Like again, we have this wrench here just in case you have a bolt here or something that's really difficult to get out, All right? This might require a little bit of additional tension once we're done. You can see here there's a bolt here and there's also a, a, wa a washer a, uh, that you wanna put in there to add a little bit of additional. And you see I'm hand tightening this. This is where we're gonna possibly need our wrench to give it additional tension, right? And you're gonna have this splitter here facing outwards where the toilet seat is gonna be connected to when we attach it. We got the basic connection of the splitter, right? Our plumbing is off currently. We're gonna keep it off until we actually have the final connection. But I'm gonna use my pliers here to tighten this connection here. And you don't want it too tight because it is a plastic connector the end of the to of this particular type of toilet. It's gonna be just enough to get it connected. And that's really enough. That's it. The next thing that we're gonna do is have the toilet, there's like a, on this particular model toilet, as you'll see, there's a something that separates the toilet. It's like a rubber, it's like a large rubber uh, gasket, essentially, that mounts uh, the two pieces together. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is get the mounting bracket installed. And you can see it's got these little rubber gaskets here. Uh, around the screw bolts and you see there's a front and the back label. You want to make sure that you have a line so it's front and back. Now you can also want to maybe loosen these a little bit because depending on the brand of toilet that you have, you're going to need to line that bracket to line up your your seat. Now this is a little tricky as I figured out initially because uh, you got these little rubber bulbs essentially that are bulging out. So you're going to want to push these down. You're going to want to push these down in with your hands. So the first one goes in and then the next one goes in, and then you're gonna push down with your hand, that gets it flush, and you get one more, and that's it. So now we're gonna use the screwdriver to tighten it in order to get it secure. Okay, so now we're gonna use a Phillip head screwdriver to just tighten it enough so that it's able to connect to the seat. And this particular model is configured for a total toilet out of the box, which is what this is. But if you have an American Standard or something else like that, you might need to move this up and down with these adjustment plates to fit it exactly where you need it to go. Okay, now we're gonna put the actual toilet seat on, right? So you want to, there's a certain slot, cut up an action going here, and basically you're going to slide it right onto the bracket where it basically is going to click right on. And it takes a little bit of practice doing this. You might have to lower the seat in order to align it. And there's a certain latch sound. Okay, you hear it? That was it. That's it. That's all it is. It. That's all she wrote. The latch is there. It's got clips here that lock on and that's it. So the next thing that we're going to do is connect the plumbing and then turn our uh, water back on and connect the electrical 
to our outlet, and then we should be done. Okay, moment of truth. We're now going to connect the water supply to the bidet seat to the splitter. And you could use a little bit of plumber's tape here, but honestly, I've done two of these things already. I've never had to use it. Get it nice and, and hand tight. These really think are designed, these things are meant to be hand tightened. And make sure that you check all the connections and all the other things you tightened before. All right, make sure it's nice and ready to go. And we're gonna then turn on the water supply just to see if the connection's good and if there's any leakage, in which case you might have to retighten a little bit. I'm expecting actually a tiny bit of water, not too much. See that there was actually the valve popped out there, which means that there's water pressure. And that's it. So now what we're gonna do is when we stop doing this, we're just gonna connect the power supply and we should be done. Okay, so we got our electrical cord, we've got our GFIC socket here. We're gonna plug our cord in. The system is going to boot up because it is half a microprocessor based and it usually goes through a clean cycle uh, before you do anything. Uh, we don't actually have the remote hooked up but there's a manual control here where you can turn it on. But now she's all ready to go. This is Jason Perlow, Senior Technology Editor of ZDNet Tech Worldler, signing off.